Hey there, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of January 14th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But let's see what we have going on for you uh, this week, the 14th. All right. Uh, could be big love. Big love is what's popping up here for you. Tons of love. Yeah. Uh, pretty crazy. Wow. Uh, you start off with the eight of hearts. Card of socializing. Card of needing to live your dreams as well. Uh, this card is called the moon, but it's not like the moon in the tarot. You know, the moon in the tarot represents dreams that or fantasies that will never become reality. Uh, the moon in the playing card reading system or the Lenormand card reading system even represents fantasies or romantic fantasies that you have that you need to experience here on earth it says you need to attract these things down to earth so a lot of you uh, could be manifesting this week or you could be v finding yourself being very powerful manifestors at this time I feel like you need to use your powers of manifestation uh, if you're looking for love dating I mean it comes up here a lot this oh even in the daily readings this always comes up for you cancer getting out there in public is where it's at for you you have this card you have the ten of clubs you also have the uh, nine of hearts these are all cards of dating you have the fool card coming up in a challenging area here the fool in it's coming up in reverse I don't read reversals but uh, it is really funny that it's coming up in reverse because that's like not taking action. So I feel like a lot of you just need to take action. I feel like you need to get out there, talk to people, meet new people, all sorts of stuff to find love. Next, you have the Ten of Clubs, huge leaps and bounds of success. To me, the Ten of Clubs is a card of leaps, leaping forward into success, seeing more success in your life in some way. So I feel like there could be a lot of growth for you this week. That's really the word that's popping into my head here. Uh, for some of you, this could be mental growth as well. It, this is a card of learning. It's a card of the teacher. So it can say that you have been learning a lot about whatever it could be anything in your life. And this learning is going to be very helpful for you. This could be learning about love, business, uh, a job, it could just be school, whatever you're learning. But I feel like whatever you're learning is very beneficial for you at this time. Also, again, amazing card for dating. So I definitely say uh, get out there and date. Uh, next, you have the five of hearts. So birth of a new relationship. Uh, five of hearts can represent birth, um, not like a baby, but, well, it can, but, you know, for the most part, it just represents a new relationship coming in. So I feel like for a lot of you, it could be a new relationship. For a small percentage of you, I do feel like this could be jealousy. I always say that this card represents positive jealousy. People who are jealous of you because your situation is like improving. You know, so again, maybe your life is improving or maybe like little bits and pieces of your life are improving. So I always tell people this is jealousy to be ignored. If people are jealous, just ignore it. It doesn't matter. That's what I would say there. Uh, next, you have the three of hearts. I, this is just my yes card. Yeah, uh, to me, this card doesn't have a meaning. I just call it an indicator card. The three of hearts to me just indicates that things are moving forward in a positive direction, um, you know, in the reading itself, depending on like what's around it. But so I don't really attach a meaning here. It can represent feeling off balance in love. It can, you know, especially if you don't have love, it can say that you feel off balance or if you have a relationship, you can feel off balance. Your answer is to put the work in, eight of diamonds. Uh, exactly what I said earlier. You have two eights here, which represents needing to put the work in and needing to get out there. So I feel like a lot of you, again, if you're looking for love, put the work in. You know, online dating, get out there and try to, you know, find love. I said this to Capricorn last night. I feel like something people don't understand about manifestation is for us to get abundance, we need to create abundance somewhere, right? So it's like if we're looking for love, we need to go out on dates and, you know, and try to meet people. Um, even if we're like not exactly interested in these people, we need to show the universe that we are willing to put the work in. It's like like, you know, I, I try to explain this to people all the time. It's like, uh, I talk to a lot of people who like online date, for example, and they're like, yeah, but most of them, I just, I start talking to them and, you know, they turn me off or something and I don't want to go out with them. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm like, you don't have to go out with anybody creepy, of course, but it's like, you know, if, if it's a decent person, it's like, why not give it a shot? It's like, by you, it's like the universe is giving you a bunch of abundance, right? And, and giving you all these people that you could potentially go out on a date with, but you're saying no to all of them. So the universe is like, okay, they don't want to date. I'm like, you have to be the opposite side. You have to create the opposite. You have to create the abundance to get the abundance. I feel like a lot of you cancer people need to do that. I feel like you need to create the abundance first. Same thing at work. I said this to Capricorn last night as well. It's like, if you want to get a job, I always tell people, it's like, if you want to get a job and you're not getting one, go apply to like every single McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's, whatever, in 
in your area. You don't even have to go on these interviews. It's like you have to create the abundance out there first for you to get the abundance of offers back. So even if you don't want to work there, I'm like, just put out a bunch of applications everywhere. You don't, you're not, you don't have to take these jobs. You're just creating abundance. So I feel like this is saying create the opposite side, cancer. Uh, next you have the fool in reverse again. I feel like this is saying you're not taking a leap of faith. Yeah. Five of clubs is also a card of taking a risk. So I feel like some of you need to take a risk that you're not taking. Again, this was reverse. Uh, and again, I don't read reversals, but I am feeling kind of that reverse reversal type energy here. Uh, this could be towards dating or it could be towards a job as well. This is a card of hobbies. It's also the card of like kind of starting a business. Not really, but kind of. So I feel like some of you need to take the risk to start a business. And uh, finally, you have the nine of hearts and the seven of hearts. These came out together. Uh, and nine of hearts, card of wishes, seven of hearts, wanting a deep commitment with somebody, wanting a deep commitment in a relationship. It's also a card called the tree. So, you know, it just represents very stable, secure things. So I feel like this is you getting something, a wish, you know, getting a wish for like a stable relationship or a business that lasts or a job that lasts. But I feel like a lot of you could be getting that this week as well, or at least you're on the right path to be getting that at this time. But looks really good. So I would say get out there, Cancer, and uh, try to meet people if you're single and looking. Uh, but looks really good. So uh, thank you, everybody, and enjoy your week.